Hello, hello, welcome to the first video on uh, writing a code in Verilog in Xilinx. And in this video, as this is the first one, let's get started with a small basic uh, half adder. Let's write a Verilog code for half adder. Uh, and the process is same, uh, initial steps, uh, select a new project and write a name here, HAA, I will write HA. And now, uh, observe this, that is Product category all Spartan 3, XC3S200, FT256 and uh, ISC simulator speed grade minus 4 and uh, click on next and uh, click on next until finish and you will be obtaining with this a uh, blank window and now you, you have to add a new source that is a Verilog module and now you have to write here HAA now I'm going to add this to the project and uh, I don't write here because I want to mention all the inputs and outputs that I'm going to write uh, in front of you before in, in the module section itself after explaining what actually it is. So instead of directly writing a code for a half adder, first of all one should know what actually half adder is and if you know that and the circuit diagram of half adder then you can write the code for the half adder in any way you want. Uh, so first, first let's guess, uh, discuss about the half adder. These are the slides that was prepared by me. So um, uh, convinced with this, uh, if you're not convinced, you can comment in the comment section. And according to me, what actually half adder is, it is used for a single data bit addition. Oh, 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 what you're thinking? Wait, 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 stop there. I know that you're all thinking what we add two bits, then why? I use the term, I use the term uh, single bit addition. I got that point and now what I'm going to say is this is the precise definition. Precise definition can be explained as follows. Why? Because the other bit can be considered as a carry bit and depending on the carry bit and the input bit, the output of the half adder will be obtained. And if you want to, if you want to get for a full adder, then what you have to do is to get for a full adder, I'm going to write here for uh, addition of more than one bit, like suppose for two bits, you are, we, we got an update of a full adder. So this is used for a more than one bit data. So from this, we can say that it is a half adder means a single bit data addition in that context or in that point of view, I use the term that it is, it is a single bit addition. Now the other bit can be called as carry bit now um, this is the truth table for half adder now let me explain how we obtain with this so uh, if the data bit is zero then there are two possible cases for the carry that is zero and one for the data bit zero so this is my carry in i can take it as b for ease of writing and for the data bit one Again, there are two possibilities for the carry that is 0 and 1. You can write this or you can interchange these two. No problem. That's not a big deal because even though the sum and carry will not change. Now we can write this as 0 or 0. Uh, the sum will be an XOR operation. Why? Because adding 0 and 0 will give a sum bit 0 and a carry bit also 0. If 1 and 0 are added, then I will get the sum bit 1 and the carry bit as 0. If 0 and 1 are added, the same will be repeated. And if 1 and 1 is added, that is equal to 2. And the binary equivalent of 2 is 1, 0, where this 1 is called as the carry bit. So I am write, I'm writing it and the sum bit is 0. Now you can see clearly the sum block is, let me write it clearly. The sum block is an XOR operation XOR of 0 and 0 is 0 or 1 and 1 is 1 uh, 1 and 1 is 0 and 1 0 0 1 will be give 1 so I can write some as simply an XOR operation and the carry is an AND operation of this set of inputs so from this we got a true table true table for half adder so now clearly you can see all the possible cases that is 0 0 it is 0 0 sum and carry and all the possible cases so from this i can get the conclusion that the sum is an xor operation and the carry is an and operation 
Finally, from that we can write if A and B are treated as two inputs for a an half adder and this can be treated as a whole block, this can be treated as a whole bo block, then I can write the sum as XOR gate and a carry as an AND gate. So with this basic idea, now let's get started to write a code. And you know that I declared inputs A comma B and outputs as sum comma carry. So now inputs, I will zoom this. Now my inputs are A comma B since these are a single bit data so no need to write registers and my output will be uh, some comma carry. Now I can write this in all the three types of modeling that is a uh, data flow modeling, a behavioral modeling and a gate level modeling. Now if you are feeling any difficult with these types of modeling you can comment in the comment section I will make one more video on that. So first let us write in the uh, gate modeling or simply I can write as XOR gate since I am using XOR gate output of XOR is sum the inputs are A comma B and uh, I am using an AND gate so I will write AND and the output is carry comma A comma B so these are my inputs now I am going to save this and I am going to take the syntax I am going to check the syntax here, behavioral simulation or I, I have to select this I am going to check the syntax and um, oh it's it's correct now let's uh, write the test bench for that uh, for that I have to add a very log test fixture and here I am going to write a test so click on next so the rest bench is getting added and here you can see that all uh, relevant things that uh, range uh, output output will be defined as a while in the test bench and input will be defined as a range and this is a uh, waste no need so I can delete this and from this you can say that uh, initially A is declared as 0 so I will write 1 T B 0 and I am writing B as also 1 T B 0 now I am going to take this so now I am going to write always I am going to change for every 2 seconds my A value as its complement and always I am going to change after every 4 time steps my B value as the complement of its value. Now I am going to check them uh, how they are changing. So I am writing a dollar monitor and what time steps they are actually changing. So dollar time and now I can write the output as, as since they are binary so percentile B. So the outputs are a comma b. Now I have to give the command that up to how many time steps should it actually perform the execution. So after that I will say that finish. Now here the end module. Now let me say this. I am taking the syntax. And uh, here I got an error. So let's see what errors are line 42 unexpected defined so I can remove this now let me save so here I got my syntax again wrong so line line initial dollar amount equal to percentile b and b equal to percentile b line 52 expecting dot here somewhere I think I missed something and uh, so let me find errors that is um, I think uh, here uh, after we have to remove the comma so now let's save that and here I am going to check my syntax again and um, it was correct so let's see what how the timing waveforms are or the simulate behavioral model for this circuit that we have coded right now that is for half header so let us see how how the simulation is 
and next we have to check for uh, no and this is a simulation so now you clearly you can see that for a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 the sum is 1 and carry is 0 and you can uh, verify from the table for 1 and a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 that is sum is 1 and carry at is 0 and for all the remaining sets like uh, here it is a 0 and 1 it is 0 and 1 and for both the cases if, uh, if they both are 1 here in this case if they both are 1 so sum is 0 and carry is 1 so clearly it is satisfying the way we have given and now in this you can also see the RTL RTL schematic and uh, the synthesis report how how much time it has it had taken to execute this circuit or uh, the timing summary you can note all the values and the number of gates or a uh, lookup tables you have used you can see that from synthesis report and the RTL schematic I am just showing showing for you only for this experiment and from the next you can um, see that see this is the schematic RTL schematic diagram and you can go deeper into this up to miniature blocks and uh, you can check that so this is the schematic diagram and similarly you can check the synthesis report also so that's all uh, for this video and i think uh, you learned something from the first one and simultaneous concept is very important to write a code so if you know the circuit diagram then it is very easy to write a very low code in xilinx that's all for this video thank you for watching and subscribe for more